Alright guys, so for today's jigsaw makeup tutorial, I already concealed this eyebrow. I have a whole video on how I glue down my eyebrows and conceal them and all that stuff. So if you guys want to watch that, I'll have it linked in the description or I'll include a card up here if I remember to do that. Um, otherwise, let's get started guys. So I have like a, I have one of these like honey candies in my mouth right now. It'll dissolve in a second. Okay. Since I'm doing like a half jigsaw, half glam look, I'm gonna be doing this side of my face white. There's gonna be like puzzle pieces that's gonna be connecting it. So I don't practice these looks beforehand if you guys are new to my channel. So I'm just kind of winging it, but let's get started. You know, before we really get started, let me tell you guys that this is inspired by um, Rachel Sweeney dot makeup. I'll pop up her account right here and the picture that I'm inspired by. So she has it like the whole face in the center here, but I'm just gonna do it half and then half like my normal glam makeup over here. So yeah. For all of the paint in this look, I'm going in with the Mayron Edge Palette, which is this guy. It's looking like a mess right now. I like this palette because it has just the primary colors and you can mix it to create any shade you need. So I'm gonna be going in with the white and I'm gonna be using a little sponge by Juno. This is gonna look a little patchy to start out, but once you go over it, it'll be good to go. Okay guys, so I made a little cheat sheet for myself. So I just looked up puzzle pieces, like an image of puzzle pieces, and I found this guy. So I already cut out around the edges. I mean, if you wanna be really extra, you can individually cut these and just place them on, but I'm thinking it might be enough for me to just trace the outline of this on here, and then I'll just have to worry about doing the individual, like following along the pattern. We're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> going to be a lot harder than I thought. I already knew it was going to be really, really hard, but the amount of patience that this is requiring, if you guys have ADD, either take some Adderall or maybe sit this one out. I'm like, <sighs> by the way, guys, I didn't even mention this, but I'm using black eyeshadow just in case you couldn't tell. You can also use really light gray eyeshadow if you want. Right now we're just trying our best to map out the shape of these and then I can go back and repaint every single one of these individually to sharpen them up. If you guys are getting really overwhelmed with this look, just kind of think of the puzzle piece as it actually is instead of the whole thing. I don't know if this is making any sense. I'm gonna try to attempt to explain how I'm looking at it. So here, we're gonna draw the little point up here. And now, since this side is going in, this side's going in. So basically, you're just mirroring the other side of the puzzle piece. I don't know if that's common sense to you guys, but I know I get overwhelmed really easily, so little tricks like that to think of something differently always helps me. All right guys, we're getting somewhere. Only another hour to go.
Alright guys, now that the base design is laid down, I'm gonna go in with a little brush and just fill these in using the same paint that we used to start with. So I just need to clean up all of these areas here. All right guys, that looks good enough for now. For the shading and my eye look, I'm gonna go in with the James Charles palette. So this is the Dare to Create palette by Morphe. Now I'm just using that black shade to go all over my lid and then underneath my eye as well. Okay, now I'm going over this nose contour with a white shade just to blend it in a little bit because it went a little harsh. And for these lines here around the eyes, I pretty much just pulled up a reference image of him and just kind of basing it off of that. And now onto the mouth. Okay, so now I'm going to do something that I should have done to start this out, and I'm going to be putting in a red contact. So hopefully I don't mess everything up. All right, that wasn't too bad. I'm also going to chisel out, so I'm going to chisel out my chin real quick. I guess I should have said my neck. I don't know why I said chin. Then around my forehead. So now I'm going to do a little cheek swirl. Now I'm also going to do my lips and then I'll go back over it with a red paint. All right, now I'm just defining my butt chin because he has one too. I'm just creating a little smile line here, smile crease. I'm lining my waterline using the Huda Beauty Life Liner. Now for this side, guys, I'm just gonna be doing my regular makeup routine. So, I mean, you guys can do this any way that you typically do your makeup. I think I'm probably just gonna fast forward through this just to, to save some time for this video so it's not like 20 minutes long. All right guys, now I'm ready to put my wig on. So I just have like a, a black straight wig that I got from Ava Hair. I believe it's just called Ava Hair on Instagram. But with this eye, I decided to go more of like a red and then smoke it out with a black. So this obviously isn't my everyday eye, but I think it's a cool look. I thought that it would be cool to tie in the colors of Jigsaw for the other eye too. I don't know, let me know what you think. Okay guys, so I'm gonna pop on the wig. I also have a button up that I'm gonna put on along with a tie, or bow tie. So I'll be back. All right guys, this is the finished look. You can just ignore this like weird collar that's going on here with the bow tie. I don't know what it is about women's shirts. They just like, they don't fit a bow tie underneath. They get like this weird, like weird neck. Um, but anyway, and also just pretend that this is a red tie because I don't have one. But if you guys did want to do like a pink jigsaw, I did one last year. I'll pop it up on one of the sides here just to show you guys in case you want to do something like that instead. It's definitely a lot more simple than this one. The thing is, once you get past doing the puzzle pieces, everything else pretty much fell into place. So it just depends on how hard you're trying to go on Halloween. But yeah, hopefully that you guys like this look. Hopefully I explained it enough in the tutorial. I always do my looks on the spot because I don't really like to practice anything. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the look in the comments down below. Make sure to give it a like, that really helps me out. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Halloween tutorials. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.